So, Corey, I know you've played Tears of the Kingdom a little? Yes, I have played Tears of the Kingdom a little. Are you... So, in the description of that, it was like, you know, strapping rockets to Koroks, you're a monster. There's got yes, plenty I of am. stuff about that. I'll throw them in the water. Am I a worse monster for noticing the ones that are like, I need to go get my friend, and then I open my mini-map and I put a little leaf, that is the designation for a Korok, Yep. and then I never see that Korok again. I, my mini-map is just a bunch of leaves of abandoned Koroks. You are absolutely a monster, Peach. You never, you, you, you never go and rescue that Korok. No, it's. Huh? I don't know how. Well, as and I played, uh, my partner and as, as who's on Dawn Guard, they'll be in later. Uh, played simultaneously, in so far as they did a lot of exploration, but hate combat, and I love the combat sort of thing. So we traded off, and yeah, our mini map is just. Oh, we'll get back to that. Oh, we'll get back to that. Oh, we'll get back to that. So, so you, you trade it off, but neither of you like saving Koroks. Is that what? Not, not <laughs> the ones that need to go to their buddies. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's yeah. two different types. Kind of. Well, there's, there's like little puzzles and things. Like you, you lift up a rock or put a rock in a forked thing. Yeah, I've... Uh, um, yeah. I played the... Uh, uh, Previous one. Previous, Breath Previous one. Breath of the Wild. Yeah. Uh, and I've actually started um, Tears of the Kingdom now. In, mm-hmm. That was part of, in fact, that was part of my effort to stay up late in the really? last week <laughs> in preparation for Zeta was playing some Tears of the Kingdom. Yeah, sometimes I accidentally dump the Koroks in the water, but you can just hand them. Like, you can just grab them and pick them up and then just, like, move them out above the water and then drop them and then they float for a little bit and then they respawn. What? I love uh, Bambulian logic here in the chat. It says Tucson Korok needs to reach their friend. Las, Las Vegas, Vegas Korok? Korok? Oh, no. <laughs> There's a little, like, campfire on the horizon. Eight hours uh, away. <laughs> unfortunately, unfortunately, you need poop to, like, upgrade your crap. Oh, the seeds, yes. Yeah. That was, like, wonderfully out of context. What? I do like that you can glue the Koroks... Yeah, you, like to you a can, fan boat and then send them away. Yeah, you, well, like the and that's how you're supposed like you're supposed to like attach him to something so that you can use a machine to get him over to his buddy. But he doesn't have to be, uh, you know, on top of the machine. <laughs> <laughs> no, God no. It did, but if he is below the water, then he will despawn. Oh really? Yeah. I have you not. Can't, you can't let them drift too far down, and they will detach from vehicles. With, I definitely. Uh, it, it, uh, a lot of forces involved. I definitely brought one over to his buddy. Like I made like a little, like I got made like a little horse and cart. And then I was like, oh, I made this little horse and cart and I'll bring him over. And then like, I was just about to put it in there like, wait a minute, he sticks to the thing. I didn't need to make like this whole horse and cart to bring him over. This is, you know, I didn't really know how the whole system worked that well. And so I was like, I didn't really need to make this whole horse and cart. Oh, well, I made it anyway. I'll just <laughs> stick him to one of the wheels. <laughs> Yep. So I made this whole horse and cart with a nice place for him and then stuck him to the wheel and drove <laughs> over there. Korok figureheads are a staple of all my boats. Load bearing Koroks. Mm-hmm. Anyway. I appreciate that with all the, there's like all the scary things going on in the world of Zelda in both Tears of the Kingdom uh, and Breath of the Wild, the Koroks are like largely unaffected. They're just like they just we're like doing, to have fun. We're doing all this stuff. We're hiding. We're doing things. We're going meeting our friends. Doing all this stuff. It's like they're the. It's like the you know the Tom Bombadil in the in the Lord of the Rings, right? Yeah. They're, they're just it's it it's like they are you know very powerful, but they have no particular reason to do anything. Gan, like, if Ganon got a hold of one, he wouldn't really be able to do anything. He wouldn't do anything worse than I do. Yeah. <laughs> have you noticed how it seems like every single Korok that goes out on a journey, not a single one of them is able to stay with their friends? I mean... It's a skill issue, really. <laughs> Well, it's also survivorship bias, right? You don't see the ones that are just hanging out with their friends. Mm. You only see the ones that need help. 
because presumably the ones that are just hanging out with their friends are like hiding in a bush or invisible or something. We're getting them to help set up their elaborate balloon popping puzzle. Right. Yeah, that must take a lot of work. Or or lying or laying out the like fifty little flowers that you have to follow along the path yep. to get. Mm hmm Setting up the targets that you have to jump between. I long time ago I played uh, the Minish Cap. Mm. And my uh, my head canon is that the the Koroks are somehow related to the Minish. Sure. There's probably a lineology chart somewhere. Yeah. How all the things are. I don't know, from a dragon, <laughs> probably. I don't know, then we get into the Zelda chronology timeline thing. That's just a. Can yeah, of but worms. that's just chronology. That's yeah. not even like. Oh, you get into genealogy or genealogy? Yeah, genealogy, and then you get into like geographic time scales. Like, what's the strata of Hyrule look like? I mean, it's kind it, of lumpy and dark, really. Is it's it even this? Is it even the same world? Some of them are. Like uh, the Wind Waker is connected to a lot of the current stuff. What? Also, was all this stuff in the sky and in the underneath the ground there? In Breath of the Wild, you just couldn't go there. <laughs> it was all just like hiding in the sky. All my Sky Island friends just off screen. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. It was all there. We just we just didn't talk about it. Anyway. Hmm. But I'm not very far in it yet, so. Uh, but I uh, I have been very much enjoying. I I got it actually. Uh, for my birthday, back in June, uh, my brother gave it to me, uh, and at the time I had like just finished Breath of the Wild, and I was like, I don't want to jump into another one like right away. <laughs> and then, I was like, oh, this will be perfect for a thing to spend try, time trying to stay up late while I'm trying to adjust to Zeta time with mixed success. 